Hey guys, it's Nikki with actually that is how I feel .blogspot.com. This is such an impromptu video because right now everything for me is super unreal, but sometimes things just go super unreal so that things can be real for you. So as I mentioned in my previous video, I said I was working on some things and today it came to fruition. So I will be able to go ahead and tell you all that wonderful, wonderful news that I spoke about. Um, and that is that I am now considered awesome. And I will be freelancing at Mac. Yes, your girl is now a Mac girl. Now the reason why I said that Excuse me, let me set that down. The reason why I said that my experience was very unreal is because I'm, I'm gonna give you my timeline in such a serious way. Literally, what is today? Today is November 15th, okay. I dropped my resume off this past Monday at the Mac Pro Store in Beverly Hills and also at the Mac Store inside of The Grove in which, you know, I'm not expecting anyone to say anything to me anytime soon. The only thing that I did was drop those off and I got a call Wednesday. I did an interview Friday and today I was offered a position. So that was literally pretty much a week timeline. So I will start out by saying this, like many people who have thought about makeup or wanted to work inside of a Mac store beforehand, they go into these stores and they ask these people who already work there questions and sometimes you'll get the good response, sometimes you get kind of the, the runaround about how to do it and then you sometimes get bad information period. At the end of the day, I'm not looking to take your job. You were in my shoes at one point. All I'm asking is tell us just the how to get on. So fortunately, I had two friends who actually are employed by Mac. One is on the impact team, the other one was out here freelancing, working her way up to managerial. And I just asked the deets, hey, what do I need to do? I didn't ask for the hookup. I just asked, what is it I need to do to, you know, get on? Because if, and I'm not saying this to be funny, I've seen some of the makeup on some of those girls in Mac, and I'm just like, okay, well, if you can do this, I damn sure can do it. And I'm not saying that their makeup looked bad or anything like that, because I'm still learning and honing my skills. But I would never sit around and tell someone like, oh, it's so hard to get a job here or something like that, because it's not that it's hard, it's a level of confidence. They look for individuals. They're looking for people that are fun. They're looking for people that are who they are and can bring something to the table. And so like a lot of people who have gone to Mac and either asked for that or even just come in for service, they get this almost piss poor level of service that makes them think the people that work there are complete assholes. Excuse my French, but that's just what it is. And I have no intention of being that way. I actually enjoy doing makeup. I enjoy doing hair. And like I said, I would love to get back into what I love to do, which is the beauty industry. So what an awesome start. So just so you all know, this was my first time officially applying at Mac. I applied, I think I dropped off my resume at the Beverly Center when I first moved to LA in 2010. That's when um, the Beverly Center still had a freestanding store. And I remember dropping the resume off and the girl kind of looking at me like, you know, I asked her to give it to the manager. I'm pretty sure it never made it to the manager's hands, but it is what it is. So just tips for people who are interested and I'm going to run this down as quickly as I can. I'm still super excited. I'm, it's still so very unreal, but it's real. Um, first things first, Get your resume together. Make sure that you've got some retail experience. Make sure you've got some Mac, excuse me, makeup application experience and some customer service experience. Um, when you go to take your resume in, make sure your face is beat and you are wearing all black. You want to make sure that you are, you walk in, basically dress the part. Walk in like you already work there. And that's pretty much what it is. So you take your resume in, and if the manager's available, make sure you ask to speak to the manager. That way you can hand your resume directly to the manager. 
and be careful because sometimes they may ask you on the spot, why do you want to work for Mac? That didn't happen with me, but I did get to chit chat with a young lady that was not the manager and she said, well, what I'm going to do is put a sticky note on yours and that pretty much tells management, make sure you call this one. Hey, I can't knock that. I'm all for a good word being put in. And I was shocked that the call back came back that quickly. Um, so like I said, once you get the resume up, you know, you might be on standby. The pile that they referenced that all of the resumes go in a lot of times. That's why I said mine's is unreal and uh, unlikely. I literally did a one-on-one -on -one interview with the manager and my makeup application interview which I did today was one on one. There was nobody else there, so there was no model switching. There wasn't a, you know, none of that going on. So either way, once you drop that resume off and it goes in that pile, that usually that pile usually goes out to the regional managers in which you can do the same thing online, which is submit your resume in that format if you don't go to a counter and turn in your um, resume. And what happens is I believe Two, you know, two to three times a year, they may do a open call kind of thing where they give you a date, they give you a time, and you all interview as groups. And fortunately for me, I didn't have to go through that process. So apparently, what happened to me is highly unlikely. So the one thing that I did do though was make sure that I was me. I'm very bubbly. I smile. I laugh. I like to learn. You just need to show them that you do have a passion for it. You do obviously you need to have some makeup skills too but <laughs> you need to show them that you have a passion for it that this is something you really want to do you need to be open to criticism because nobody is perfect you know if somebody asks you on a scale of one to ten you know what you think your um, makeup skill is tell them a good seven tell them a strong seven how how is it a strong seven sevens it's good enough to get out here and do your thing however there's still a lot to learn there's still a lot to you know build on and, and it also shows that you're willing to grow because you're not at a 10 yet. So there's nothing wrong with being confident in your skills because I'm confident in my skills, but I'm not going to be cocky. I'm humble still. And I still know that there's a ton of things for me to learn. So that's just what it is. So the verbal interview went down, gave them all I got, and run down what you need to know. Mac was established in 1984 in Toronto, Canada by Frank Tuscan and Frank Angelo. The first Mac store was opened in 1991 in New York and from there spread like wildfire. 1994, Viva Glam, 100% of the proceeds go to the AIDS, the, the Mac AIDS, excuse me, fund. And that basically goes to support people living with HIV and AIDS. They've got social responsibility. So what are those programs? That's your, excuse me, Viva Glam, your Mac AIDS fund, Kids Helping Kids, Mac Pro, and Back to Mac. That is stuff that you need to know. If you know nothing else, know that because they're very big on that. Of course, one of the questions that's going to come out like any other job is why Mac? Nobody can answer that for you but you. For me, it was beyond this being the holy grail of all cosmetic companies, it allows creativity. I want to be around creative people. I want to learn. I want to be a little sponge. I just want to grow as a makeup artist. So, that's like I said you just need to be yourself tell the truth tell them what you want to know you want to learn you want to be around people tell them what your reason for wanting to be you know be a part of Mac is so yes that is the excellent excellent news that I wanted to share with you all and I'm still reeling in and I want to give a shout out to my girl Lynn I want to give a shout out to my girl Ashley and I want to give a shout out to my girl Betty for letting me beat her face down today oh I am so happy and also I am now at 2,000 subscribers long time coming long time coming so I'm gonna do a 2,000 subscriber giveaway and I'm still thinking that I want to give away I might be giving this away yes you know me and my bags I might give that one away so anyway, thank you all for watching. I, I hope this was as exciting for you as it was for me. I know I rambled a little bit, but it is what it is. I'll see you guys next time. Mwah. Viva Glam.